Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and today I'm going to show you how to make this exact animation in Blender. As always, it's going to be fairly quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by switching from Blend Render to Cycles Render for better shading. And then click X to delete the default cube. And then go into Create and add a monkey. Let's go into the modifiers and add a Subdivision Surface modifier to make the model higher poly. And then apply the modifier. Okay, so the next step in the tutorial is to add the smoke and fire effect. So let's go down to Object and then Quick Effects and then add smoke. Okay, and then you need to go into the uh, smoke settings or the uh, smoke physics settings. I'm going to increase the resolution for the uh, smoking fire simulation. So uh, let's set it to around 100 and if you have a slow computer, you might want to set it to around 80 or something like that. I would also recommend enabling the adaptive domain and the uh, smoke high resolution to the smoke and fire simulation because that is going to make the animation look a lot better. And when it comes to the uh, monkey flow object, I'm going to change the uh, service value from 1.5 to 1. And then I'm going to decrease the density to minus 0.001. The next step is to change the flow type from smoke to fire plus smoke. And then let's play the animation to see what it looks like. And as you can see, we now have fire and smoke. It's going to be a little bit slow because uh, the resolution is quite high. But uh, after a few seconds of waiting, you're going to have the uh, final animation. So let's open a new window to change the node setup of the uh, domain the materials okay so let's go into the node editor and it might look a little bit complicated right now but we already have a node set up from the quick effects so let's just click shift a and add an uh, emission node and then connect the emission to the shader and then we need to add an attribute node which is for the uh, fire so click search and then type in attributes and then you need to change the name of the attribute to the flame, which is uh, really important for the effect. Okay, and then the next step is to add a new node. So click Shift A, click Search, and add a math node. Okay, and then change it to multiply. And then connect the factor from the attribute to the value of the math node. And then you need to uh, connect the math node to the emission node. Okay, and then increase the value to 5. Okay, so before I start adding the colors to the flame, I'm going to select the lamp, I'm going to the lamp settings, change it to sun, then increase the size to 1, click use nodes, and then increase the strength to about 6. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the sun, so click G to uh, grab the sun, and uh, I'm going to grab it again. Then click R, then set to rotate the sun on the set axis. Okay, and then click shift set to go into rendered view or just uh, go into the rendered view manually on the side. Let's go into the uh, device and change it to GPU. If you only have a CPU, that's okay, but it's going to be faster if you have a GPU. Okay, so uh, let's select the domain and change the color of the flame. So I'm going to give it kind of a uh, orange color, something like this, but you can obviously give it whatever color you want. Okay, so let's uh, go to the next step, and that is to select the monkey and add a material for the monkey. So click New, and then change it from Diffuse to uh, Glossy, and then I'm going to increase the roughness to about 0.4, and then Let's go into render view, shift set, and then I'm going to give it kind of a blue color to match the orange flame. So uh, something like this. And then I'm going to change the background color of the scene. So uh, click the uh, globe icon. And as you saw in the final animation, I gave the background kind of a darker color. So uh, just uh, experiment with the colors and uh, click numpad zero to see through the camera. And I click shift F 
to use the fly cam and you can move around with W, A, S and D and then find the position you want to have for your uh, final animation left click to confirm the position and uh, display the animation a little bit longer so that we can uh, adjust the camera to the uh, smoke so shift F then I'm going to move a little bit backwards with S okay and I might make the color a little bit more gray or blackish and not blue as you saw in the final animation and then let's go into the render settings I'm going to increase the resolution quality to 100% the frame rate to 30 and then make a new folder on your computer for your final render and then select the folder and then give the uh, animation a name I'm just going to call it Toots and now we're almost done with the tutorial so I'm just going to adjust a few more things before we start the final render so uh, let's just select the camera and then click shift F and I'm going to move the uh, camera so that the monkey is in the middle of the frame so something like this and then let's go down to the uh, sampling value I'm going to increase it to around 250 you might want to make it a little bit lower if you have a slower computer but I think 250 looks okay because that's what I used for the final animation okay so I think it looks nice so now it's time to start the render and to start the render you just need to click animation and it's going to start rendering so uh, this is what it looks like after a few hours of rendering I hope you liked the tutorial if you want to take your blender skills to the next level you can also get the great tank course made by me which is available at udemy.com. So thanks for watching and subscribe.